What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can get this really cool masking transition effect. So without wasting too much time, let's just get right into it. But before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to remind you guys that I have video effects packs for sale on my website. Go check out the link in bio. I have a bunch of different stuff up there. I love the feedback. So yeah, just go check that out if you haven't yet. But anyways, back to the video. I have these two clips in my timeline. The second one is going to be the one that we're going to use as the transition. So first things first, let's just duplicate it. Right click, hit time, and then freeze frame. And because this is a freeze frame, we don't have to worry about doing rotoscoping. We can just mask out our subject with the pen tool. So I'm going to do a rough mask really quick. Sweet. Now if you toggle these layers, you can see that we already have our mask. I did a pretty quick one though, so I'm just going to feather this a little bit just to make it a little cleaner. Don't worry too much though, because we have a bunch of motion blur going on. You're not going to really notice anything too much. So the next step is going to be putting this in between our two clips and making it so it's about 10 frames long or so. And I'm just going to adjust my timeline a little bit. And we're also going to go to the end of the first clip, duplicate that in the timeline, right click, hit time, and then freeze frame. And then we're going to have this be the motion for the duration of our transition. And we're going to go over to the effects and presets, find transform, and then drop that on our topmost layer and make a keyframe for position and scale. And then if you hit U on your keyboard, we're gonna drag these to the very end of our frame. And then at the start, we're gonna make this something like 130. And we're gonna drag this to the left. And just like that, you already see we have the first step of this transition. Now I'm gonna actually make sure that these are easy eased real quick. This is already looking really nice, but to make it a little bit more dynamic, Let's just duplicate this transition layer and we're gonna actually get rid of the mask and we're going to grab motion tile and drag that onto this layer. Now you're gonna just wanna have to move it over in the effects controls panel so that's on top. And you're going to set it so the output width is something like 240 and output height is something like 240 as well. And then just make sure you have mirror edges turned on. And we're going to drag this layer so that's underneath not only this layer, but then also the background layer. And on this background layer, that's from the first clip, we're actually going to hit T on our keyboard and make it so that the opacity goes from 100 to zero. And just like that, we already have this really sick transition. I think this really looks pretty good as is. You could definitely play around with it a little bit more if you want to try and make it a little bit more dynamic, but I don't really think that you have to. You know what, let's just see what happens if we sort of play with it a little bit. Also, add motion tile to this transition layer. And let's make our output height something like 200, 200 mirror edges. And then let's also select transform. and make a keyframe for position and scale. Hit U on our keyboard, go to the very end, or actually put these keyframes at the start. And then at the very end, we're gonna have this scale up a little bit, and we're gonna have it also move to the left of the frame. That way we just sort of get a similar movement as the rest of our clips. And then if we hit easy ease on our keyboard, we end up with something like this. Now this just sort of makes the background feel a little bit more in line with the top layer, but just like that, I think we have a really sick transition. So if you guys found this helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel because it helps out a ton.